Are you doing? You can hear me because I'm trying. You know, I I will tell you, I am not a professional when it comes to Skype. So <laughs> I'm like, uh. Quarter app, you got it. I'm gonna call you right back. Then a quarter app, yeah. Okay, sir. All right. Bye bye.
the little hand is on the toe. The big hand is pointing at you. Now, what time is that? My clock glows in the dark. What does yours do? Marbles in my hand. I want to go down to the store. I want to go where God knows best. I want to go to Sunday school. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. I mean it. The little hand is on the tune. The big hand is pointing at you. Now, what time is that? You tell me. Sometimes I like to wind up my clock so the hands will point in different special ways. Sometimes I like to wind up my clock so the hands will point in different special ways. Everybody knows that I'm good fucking Christian praise! Weirder shit. Now it's Crucifix. <laughs> Radio for your spiritual side. A twisted approach to the left-hand path on a Wednesday. Wednesday. We took um, took Tuesday whiskey off. Wednesday. Whiskey Wednesday. Oh. Whiskey. Marta had the Whiskey Wednesday. You know, I, 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 with the Whiskey Wednesday, she gets a flight and a beer, and I got the beer. You can't handle the Whiskey Wednesday. I, I cannot. I, 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 I concede. I absolutely cannot handle the Whiskey Wednesday. I can sip a good aged Irish whiskey, but I, I sip that shot all night Thanks, long. It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'd sip the one shot all night long, and it wouldn't do me a whole lot of good. But I like the taste of a good Irish whiskey. But, yeah, so Whiskey Wednesday. Uh, so I got the beer. Marta got the whiskey, and I realized, damn, today's the my, my kid's late day. <laughs> we, we got home, and it was like time for dinner, and he just left, so I thought I was going to be doing this show with, with Sasha sitting across from me and me telling him every couple minutes, take a bite, take a bite. Uh, so didn't work out that. But today, yeah, yeah, at the dinner table, inside, less, uh, less ghetto birds. The sirens on Let's the winter ship. <laughs> um, and we're on, we're on the laptop again. I haven't done it, so we got a whole. We we, we got different music than we have access to uh, lately on the mobile broadcast system. But we ha- we have a special guest tonight, so we had to uh, we had to had to hook that up. Had to have the Skype on. I wasn't going to do it like we well, like we did with Christian Day, which which worked, but you know barely worked. You heard that. You're, you're kind of around that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it worked, but yeah, not the best audio quality. But um, tonight we have a special guest, so um, we got on the laptop so we could uh, use the Skype for that. And uh, you probably already know because I did not have the uh, Skype mic muted when we tested the, uh, the the Skype line, so you guys all heard that is, is he right on over. The Skype? Th- well, he's not right now, but remember when he called in to test it out? Yeah. Uh, the mic was open then. Oh. 
so everybody heard me, you know, over the song talking Qu to them. Of course they did. Yeah, of course, of course they, they did. did. Uh, of course they fucking do. Uh, maybe I should play that. They owe us a living. Uh, but but tonight. Oh, there it is already. That him? That's it right there. Let me answer the call because it comes through on my phone apparently at the same time. So you're still muted. You're still muted. Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm getting ready <laughs> to do your introduction, so they can't hear you. This. Th okay, this time. They can't hear you, so hold on just a minute. You guys can't hear who I'm talking to, but Hudo, Hudo San Mois, and, and, and me and Marta have me and Marta have a debate going on on how to pronounce your name. So they can't hear you yet. Tell us, tell us how to pronounce that last part. Is it Mois or Moisey? The last part, it, it's Moise. It's Creole. Moise. Ah, we were both off. All right. Well, everybody I know pronounces your name incorrectly um so i was going off, i think i was going off of how candelo like pronounced it rhymes with yeah. louise kind well, of well anyway louise. Let, let me unmute your, your mic because we're having a one-way conversation but we've got uh who do send moise mm -hmm. on the line who i've been trying to get for a while he's um he's all over doing stuff he's got a shop in new orleans i believe it's a brick and mortar shop yep is it yes correct uh, that is correct got the uh yep. Barnes and Noble's got his book. Uh, that, that's uh, yeah. College of New Orleans is the is the name of the store. Uh, myself and uh, uh, Star Cassis uh, own the store, the the brick and mortar here in New Orleans. That's right, that's mm -hmm. right. I, I knew this once. Yes. Did uh, Star move to New Orleans, or is she still in Texas? No, she's she's still in Texas. So okay. what happens is is that we kind of like we trade off. We go back and forth. You know, like. One week I'm there and one week that she is there because, you know, both of us have like travel engagements and, you know, shit like that that we have yeah. to do. Yeah. So we kind of, we, so we trade off, you yeah. see. So you mm -hmm. don't get to be there together. That's too bad. Well, I mean, sometimes, I mean, we always don't have a drink together, you know. We always yeah. got to go have a drink together. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it is New Orleans after all. Right, right. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, and, you know, we're going to have to do that because, uh, well, I don't, I, guess, I, I don't on. know about Marta, but I've never been to New Orleans. I've never uh, been to New Orleans. Uh, we're, we're coming. We're coming next, uh, unless, I, unless, I, unless I piss Christian Day off in that amount of time. I'll try not to do that. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're doing fucking uh, Hex Fest next year, bro. And, uh, yes, first time indeed. coming to New Orleans. i got to bring the whole family. You know, right. uh, well, yeah, you know, uh, as long as they, you know, either old enough to get to the bar or young enough to where they can stay in the hotel room by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the, gonna, we'll probably, we might have know. to find a sitter or something for some of that. But, yeah, he, he's pretty bar savvy, our kid. Yeah. But, you know, just the bars that they let him in over here. Our kid <laughs> has a little friend who lives in New Orleans, so it might work out. Perfectly. Oh, yeah. He oh, even better. Yeah. Even Arlo. I, oh, oh I Arlo. Okay, okay. Dive. Arlo. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we're yeah looking forward to that next year. But you, you're you're presenting at Hex Fest this year, correct? That's yep, year, I'm what, usually like there August? every year. Mm -hmm. August. Yeah. Yeah. August, That'll August. be yeah, August. Yeah. I think it's like the tenth through the twelfth. Um, so that's going to be a very good thing. I mean, there's a there's a bunch of things that's going to be going on, you know, for that. Um, so, you know, we have Hex Fest going, which, of course, I will be teaching at. Um, and then also during that time, I'm also doing a, uh, a book release party because I have a book that's coming out from Wiser, um, which the release date is not until Wiser. September 1st, but they're going to give me I'm going to have copies. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Excuse me. Everybody know me here, so I got to be saying I got to be polite. <laughs> Uh, hey, we got yeah. Charles Porterfield so anyway. in the uh, chat room to explaining uh, the pronunciation oh, you do? Oh. of your name. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's a French spelling yes, of indeed. Moses, while right. Moise is the Romanian spelling of Moses. Oh wait, yep, oh, okay. exactly. So wait, well, we so Moise with the with the accents over it is the French spelling of Moses, while Moise without the French spelling is the Romanian spelling yes, of Moses. Moise. Indeed, Moise. <laughs> it's that Haitian Creole, yeah. Uh huh. All right. Well, yeah. we, I know nothing about Creole yet, and uh, yeah, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I always said, you know, if I could just, if I could go straight to New Orleans, you know, I'll visit, but I don't want to see Louisiana. <laughs> no offense. 
<laughs> I'd get burned at the stake. Well, you know, there there are some there are some really really good places to visit that's outside of New Orleans. There really are. Uh, you know, you just get, but you gotta like you know you gotta like look around a little bit. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there, there are some wonderful places like when you get in the swamps, you know, that's yeah. real good. Mm-hmm. We're good at looking both ways over our shoulders, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Looking you know, you always that. gotta. <laughs> so, you, uh, so you're presenting this year. What's your, uh, what's your workshop or your class? I'm going to be, I'm going to be teaching the class about how to bring down the spirit. That's what we're going to be talking about this year. So, you know, a lot of times everybody's always, you know, focus on like either like, oh, you know, this is my intention to do this and do this and do this or whatever. Or, you know, I'm just going to add this root to this and that. But it's a lot of that than just, you know, adding a root or focusing an intention, you see. And yeah how to get in touch with the spirit we're going to talk about how to take the, the, the spirit and get in tune with that and then to bring the spirit down not only to help facilitate your work but at the same point in time how to bring the power that you need for yourself you see mm. yeah I like that and so, and so that's what we're going to be talking about the, yeah we're going to be talking about that uh, this year and then, um, and then um, one of the days that the Saturday night, um, provided I can get the venue, I'm still working on that. I'm waiting to hear back. Um, is that we're going to do a book release party because I have a book that's coming out with Wiser, um, which will be kudos, the official. Who goes on the uh, publisher choice? We were oh just, yes, we were just talking about that, and you know, people yeah. been asking me to do a book forever. And Marta was going, it was like, you know, well, what what publisher would you would you want to be on? It's like I, not Llewellyn, man. <laughs> Wiser, Why, I, <laughs> right? I, I, I respect right. books uh, more that come out from Wiser, and there was probably more Wiser on my shelves when I had a brick and mortar too. Than, uh, right, Llewellyn. exactly, exactly. So yeah, so that's gonna be that's gonna be coming out, and it's a book about conjure, and like I'm the type of person like I'm not I like I'm not the bitch that like you know gives you all this like you know theory and philosophy and shit because I don't like I mean that's all great and wonderful and all that stuff whatever, but I'm more along the lines of like let's get into the work let's get our hands in the dirt and let's like do this you know. So yeah. in the book, there's going to be a whole lot of different kind of like works and stuff like that. And of course, I go into explanations on this, this, you know, all these different things and why these things, you know, these foundations that we have in Conjure or who do same thing, um, you know, synonymous terms. Like when I was a kid, they didn't call it either one of them. They just called it work. But, you know, that's just me. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, uh but like why those things are are important and what they lend to you know the the work themselves it's you know it's about taking and you know taking something and you know creating uh, uh or facilitating magical change to a condition you see and that's what it's about because for me i'm all about you know what changing conditions if there's something that's going on that you got then guess what? You know, let's change it. If if that's not if that's not what's for you, that's not what your spirits have for you. Then you know, because we have an obligation and a responsibility just as much as our spirits to do the same. You see, we have the same obligation to to facilitate that kind of a change whenever there is a condition that needs to be changed. It's a two way street. It always has been, and it always will be. But some folks. You know, they, they, I think that there may be like a little bit of like uh, either a lack of understanding or a need to kind of understand more so what happens when you have the two that come together. And by the two, I mean the realm of the physical and the realm of the spirit when they come together to create not only a magical change, but they come together to change a condition that's going on in your life. And that's what this is all about, you see. So. Well, that's right, what I'm doing. R- right away. I got to tell you, I I, I want to go to any workshop that you're giving because I, I loved your presentation. <laughs> Whatever you're talking about right now, that the, the the presentation was was 
great. You're, you're, well, thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, it's radio, but I can feel you being animated on the other end. So oh, what, I, what I didn't hear was the name of the book. <laughs> the um, name of the book is called Working Conjure. Working Conjure. Okay, wait. Working a minute. Conjure. Uh, Mm-hmm. So we already, I, I already see him working conjure on Barnes and Noble, and uh, yes, it's, it it on Barnes and Noble and Amazon. Um, so you can pre. I know that right now you can pre-order on Amazon uh, if folks want to pre-order it. Um, and like I said, the release date is officially September the first. Although I will have copies in August before then. Um, to do kind of like a, an unofficial release party um, for that. Um, but folks, if they want to order it, they can go onto Amazon. Okay, so you've got, can... got a bunch of different formats for this book. You've got Barnes & Noble, Google Play. So, so what's a Google? Is that an audio book? What is that? Uh, oh, it's an e-book. An e-book. So, yeah, if you, 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 you should do an audio book, and you should have me um, narrate it. I'm just saying. Oh, I, I should. You, and you know what? I, I, I absolutely books. would. That would that would be good. That would definitely that would definitely be a good thing because I know that I know that they have it on. Uh, I know that they're going to. I think they're supposed to have it on Kindle or something like that. But then, and and of course, like this is it. It'll also be like in the Barnes and Noble stores, um, and it will be um, internationally released. Um, mm-hmm. So it'll be like not just in the U.S., but it'll be in other countries as well. Um, so, you know, so that's a really good thing. So and I'm like, well, you know, I guess, you know, that's good. I'm, you know, I'm proud of it because I can tell you this. Look at my call. Let me tell you. Okay, I hate so. writing with a passion. I hate I hate writing with a passion. Yeah. And, and, you know, like and after you like, you know, so much prodding and prodding. And I'm like, OK, well, I guess, you know, OK, fine. You know, I will. Um, so, you know, it, it, in, in a way it was a little bit of a sacrifice for me too, because I'm like, I don't want to sit down because I'm the type of person, like I will talk to you and I'll tell you, this is how you need to do this. This is what you need to do. This is where you need to go, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But for me to sit down and like write all that stuff out, I'm like, Oh Lord, it is just, (laughs) I'm like, uh, and guess what? No. So. You know, so when it gets down to it, like, you know, for I have to say, like, for myself, like, that that in and of itself was an accomplishment because, like I said, I, I, I hate writing with passion. I do. And, and, and you know, like, I'm not going to lie to nobody. I mean, that's just the way that it is. I just, <laughs> I don't. But I did it. You know, I did it. Oh, yes. And then I wanted to, like, you know, put my face through a wall several times. But I did it. So, you know, so that's. I don't know if you ever. Uh... If you ever looked at like uh, any of the stuff from the fairy tradition, there was a, a book in the fairy tradition. Uh, it was called uh, 50 Years in the Fairy Tradition" by Cora Anderson. She was like the oldest uh, living member of the tradition at the time, and it's like she just talked, and a scribe wrote down everything she said. I was like, "Yeah, if I could just do that, oh really? <laughs> Fuck I'd write a book, no problem. If I could just fucking talk." But it's like, yeah, I, I feel you. It's like typing it out. And, and I, I'm like, I'm 10 thoughts ahead by the time I finish the sentence. I just, I have not been good at that. But yeah, I feel you. Oh, wow. Well, that that's kind of no. And I have to say that I have not. But like, but yeah, like that's. Something I guess I probably should look into. Yeah. I, I actually <laughs> thought it read well. It's just you know she had this this stream of thought and it just all was in the book and it was just like you know this wise elder speaking. And I was like I wouldn't expect a wise elder to be able to you know uh, be good in print. Uh, that she just right. Was, yeah, that was a good idea. And I think it is because I'll tell you this, like when it comes to this work, like, and that was another one of the struggles that, you know, I guess like I had because I come from the old school and and that is like, you know, like it wasn't something that you had like this, you know, you had people like, you know, writing this or doing this or, you know, do like it was something that like it was passed word to mouth like that. That's how it was. You know, that's how it's it's been done. 
and so you know like for me personally that was a bit of the struggle that that i kind of had with that because i'm like well like this isn't how it was done to me you know what i mean so you know it's like you know i didn't go (laughs) i didn't go and like you know get like you know some volume of this that or the other and then you know take it and then try to you know turn it into or i should say regurgitate it into something that it isn't you know yeah. just say so i was going to ask you so your name who do send moise did i say it right moise 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 I'll, <laughs> I'll get it by the end of the show um, and your your tagline on your 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 skype is hugan Send Moise. So we're going to talk, uh-huh. talk about that yep. a bit. You see, you have several paths under your belt here. Well, it's mainly like there, there's mainly three, but the three of the the three of them are all cousins. Like yes. they're all related. There's really not much of a difference. Like the word Ugan is the word that's used in Haitian voodoo as a, a high priest of Haitian voodoo, okay? Uh-huh. And so, like, the word Semoise, Semoise actually is Creole for St. Moses, and that was a name that I was given, that I was given um, by my godmother who made me in the voodoo. Mm-hmm. And the reason for that is because, thank you, my love, I appreciate it, thank you so much. Um... <clears throat> The reason for that is because uh, the the line of Moses, you know, the, the 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 line of that, like as far as my bloodline is where I come from. So, because you know, I'm a Jew by blood. Yeah. Well, Charles Porterfield yeah. explained all that to us in the chat room. Oh, he yeah. broke down okay. your name well, clearly. Yes. Indeed. yes. Yes. And so and so I come from that line and I the, and that was that was a that's like a nickname that was given to me in so like when I go to Haiti everybody knows they know Saint Louis. They that's what they know. And so they know me by that. That's what I go and be like, "Yeah." So, you know, so that that's kind of where you know where that that came from. Um was yeah. that but yes you know i'm i'm a, a, an ugan or a high priest in in haitian voodoo um to which you know i absolutely love and adore um because just like conjure um the voodoo is something else that you know the the, the foundation of because conjure the foundation of conjure is the ancestors the end if you yeah. don't have your ancestors you don't have conjure the end you know, like you have a lot of these fucking the, these people who go around and they try to like take this and this, and that's not how this works. You're either going to do what it is you're supposed to do, or you're not. But you're not going to sit there and try to take something out of it that 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 is a foundation stone on which it stands. That's just the way that it is. And if yeah. anybody has something to say about it, they come talk to me. <laughs> but the voodoo is the same like the voodoo yeah. is the same it is founded on the ancestors that 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 is like we serve god we serve the ancestors we serve the loa the end like that's that that's how this is and, and, and it's one of the reasons why you know like you'll see like you know every year at least once or twice a year you will see my bitch ass in Haiti. I go to Haiti. You know why? Because I love Haiti, number one. I love the people of Haiti, number two. I love the voodoo, absolutely. But I, I love everything about that because all that is about is about community, supporting the community, getting everything together. And we serve our spirits together. And can't nobody take that away, ever. You know what I'm saying? Preach it, preach it, preach it. And you know, mm-hmm. we we knew all of this stuff because uh, was it two weeks ago? Christian Day ended up on the show. You know, we, we were we were doing the mobile broadcast. <laughs> we were doing the yes, mobile indeed. broadcast off my iPhone, and he wants to call in, and it's like, oh man, I'm not set up for calls, but fuck, if Christian Day is going to call in, I'm going to get him on the fucking air. And we did. You know, it wasn't the best audio quality ever, but we did, and, and he, he brought you up. And he was talking about it's like you know all these people talk all this shit, but who does send Moise uh, goes or Moise? He goes to Haiti several Moise. times a year. Moise, <laughs> he goes to Haiti several times a year, and it's like I have, I probably know one person in my whole world that I've ever known that that went to Haiti at all. Um, my friend, yeah, Marta's friend. <laughs> 
she, she went to Haiti pretty often. It's just like, it's not a place I, I often know people to go. And, you know, lately I know people going to Cuba and stuff because we can. But I just, I don't know a whole lot of people who go to Haiti. So you go over there for like, you know, religious work or are you doing other stuff over there? You, you know, studying, mm-hmm. do, you know, furthering your studies? So there's a lot of things that happen whenever I go down there. Here's the thing. No matter, and I don't give a shit who anybody is, how long they've been doing anything. We are all, always, 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 we are all perpetual students. The end. Okay? We're always learning things. So every time I go, of course, I learn something. I I always learn something new because, well, I mean, I will tell you that I be cutting up down there a lot. I I do. Yeah, so, you know, but that's, you know, neither here nor there, but... Um, but like, so, you know, like a lot of times when I go down, like I'll go down because there, we have ceremonies to do. Um, we'll either be doing an initiation, a kanzu, um, which is, which is an initiation into the voodoo, or we'll be doing like, uh, parties or ceremonies. Cause in the voodoo, like the, the ceremony, like it's called a fet or a party for a spirit. We're giving a party, you know, for, you know, for these loa. And so, like, we'll be going down and we'll be doing that. Um, and so, you know, when it comes, to, you know, when it comes to it, like, any time that I, like, most of the time, I mean, there's a little bit of time that, you know, it'll be like, uh, how you say, a little bit of, like, relaxation, I guess, depending on which, on, on the time, you know, that I go. But a lot of the times, like, you know, I'm going down there to do work. That's what I'm going down there to do. And guess what? The work is not just singularly about having a ceremony for the spirit. It's not just about that. The work is about, you know what? Such and such needs to go to the doctor because there's something going on with them. Such and such needs medical care and this and that. There's a house, you know, that that, that there's things that need to happen to, you know, like repairs and such. that need to Like we do all of that, all of that. And that's what people don't, you know, seem to understand is that like, like when it comes to the voodoo, the voodoo is about the community, but it's not just about the community and serving the spirit, but it's about the community and serving the community because there is a need. That's what it was founded on. That's why anybody who says that they're a solitary voodooism is full of shit. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as a solitary voodoo. I'm sorry. Bye. Nope. There's not doesn't exist because there's no way in hell that one person and i'll say and and if you can answer me this then then i will shut up and never say a damn word again but if you could answer me this as to how one person can do an entire ceremony by themselves then i'll then then i and by by ceremony by themselves i mean somebody who is doing the prie, somebody who is the ungenicon singing all the songs, somebody who is on the drums playing all the drums, somebody who is doing the dances, somebody who allows themselves to be the, the schwal or the horse of the spirit so that spirit can possess them. You tell me how one person can do all of that and I'll shut the hell up and you will never hear one word out of me again. Well, but you can't. I, 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 I tell you, I, I cannot tell you that. Um, and I've never, okay. I, I, I don't recall ever seeing an actual uh, voodoo ceremony. Um, but they're cousins. I have seen Paulo, and I've seen Ocha, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of people. <laughs> there's a lot there of always stuff is. to do. And exactly. I, I always remember it's like when, when people would like bitch about the, you know, the price of initiations or stuff. So I, I, I would say. Do you see how many people were in that room? They have no like, idea what's involved. <laughs> it's just like how many people you had to orchestrate for that ritual. Exactly. I, I, I can, can barely I can, orchestrate myself. You're absolutely right. I can, and I can, and I'll tell you this. I will tell you this. For me to do a conzo, I have to hire 25, 25 people hmm. for nine days because the conzo, yeah. the, the, that initiation <laughs> ceremony is nine days long. Yeah. I have to hire 25 people for nine days because we do ceremonies 24-7. Yeah. There's 20 hours a day. Something is go- Somewhere something is going on that has to be handled. And if you tell me how you can do that by yourself, then bravo. You, you better than me because I can't figure it out. <laughs> I had, I have this imagery of like a Wiccan one one man band kind of thing. 
<laughs> drums and rattles attached to their heads. You know, one of those one man bands. <laughs> nope, yeah, I, it just I, I, it couldn't don't be done. work. <laughs> no, it don't it don't work that way. Yeah. But the thing is, the 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 thing is, is that like you know, like the, and 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 here's oh, Lord have mercy, God. I'm gonna get on Michael. I'm so, I, I apologize in advance, but I'm gonna get on the soapbox. I'm just telling you now. Soapbox. Because my, my, because my ancestors my, invented the soapbox, the wobblies. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Because <laughs> you know, let me tell you now. Because there's been a lot of stuff going around. A lot of stuff going around recently when it comes to uh, when it comes to animal sacrifice. Oh yes, I said it. Oh Lord, I said the buzzwords. Jesus, I, think we just I had said a show on that. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's what Christian called it. There's, yes, <laughs> yes. There's been a lot of stuff, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. People, because you know, I and, and I do apologize in advance. I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm trying to be rude. Just so as you know. No, we're okay with rude. They, they look, uh, they look at a lot of fucking TV. They look at a lot of TV. They look at a lot of like you know media bullshit, and they have this conclusion in your head that the only thing that the voodoo's do, we do the blood sacrifice because of a blood lust that we have, or because you know we have this thing for torturing us. That's not the case at all. It never has been, and never will be. I'm gonna tell you this right the hell now. There are two reasons just two that we do animal sacrifice for and you know what those two reasons are reason number one because we're going to feed the spirit because the life is in the blood and the blood belongs to the spirit but guess the hell what on the second side of that you've got the body of the animal the body what you know what that does it feeds the community because one of the things that we do in the voodoo is we feed people we make sure that they eat we make sure that they are not going to be hungry. And that's what we do. And if anybody has an issue with that, then that is their own issue and they can fuck off. The end. <laughs> we do not torture animals. We don't do any of that. Like the, the, the shit that they be talking about. No, we don't do any of that. But what we do is we're going to feed our spirits. We are going to feed them. And we are going to feed the people. And if somebody has a fucking problem with that, then that is their problem to have, not ours. The end. <laughs> All right, let's go to a break. And, 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 oh, oh, well, let me just say this right real quick. And people that people might want to think about this right quick. The next time that they go to the grocery store and get their ground beef or their chicken breast, you get your motherfucking sacrifices gift wrap for you. <laughs> but we're going to do it all ourselves. How about that? Just so as you know. All right. We'll be right back with our very, Mm -hmm. very special guest on Weird Shoes.
Somebody's yeah. people. On Radio, I'm trying to play. Um, I've been trying to play the songs that we don't have on our uh, mobile broadcast. This is all the stuff that we haven't heard in a while. There's even some bad religion songs we haven't heard in a while. But um, there you go. There's Uncle Birch, like 20 years ago. Just kidding with sabotage. T.J. Vansel just jumped in the chat room. Hello, hello, all you people in the chat room. It's been going off, and I haven't really paid any attention um, to the chat room, except when I noticed that Charles Porterfield was in there. But uh, a lot of the usual cast of characters, even though it's not Tuesday night, uh, we ended up not doing Tuesday night and did a random Wednesday night because we can. Because we can, and I keep telling you people that. We... Yeah, the big package. Oh, you messed me up. Yes, our oh. package. <laughs> we got our large You're package. talking about your package. Yeah, I didn't mess anybody up. Okay, well, you knew I was going to talk about our package. No, it's it's our package. Always... It's my package and it's your package, honey. I don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, with our package here at Spreaker, we can go on the air whenever the fuck we want. Unlimited three hour broadcast per day. We could do 24 7 and reboot every three hours if we want to. It had nothing to do with our lives. But we do. We have stuff to do with our lives. And that's what we were doing yesterday. It's why we weren't on the air and why we're able to just randomly be on the air on Wednesday. So basically, people, where I'm going here is you need to follow. You're listening to the show. You're on uh, the Spreaker webpage, apparently. Click follow. You know, they may make you, they'll probably make you set up an account. You can set up an account with your Facebook information. Three clicks away. It's easy, easy, easy. You gotta follow. We got so many cool people making the migration over here to Spreaker. Candelo's uh, doing his, uh, his, uh, like, I think four day a week. It's 12 o'clock somewhere show again. Um, Amber Zuna Gare has been on the air. Uh, we got even uh, uh, Beverly Smith. I don't even know when her show is, but you know, you just look for them when you're on Spreaker and follow their show, and you'll know when they're going to be on. You know, some people have a regularly scheduled broadcast day, and some people randomly go on the air, and some people do both, and we can do both. And you know, Strix, Strix here, our loyal listener. She or she, I don't know. I don't know if Strix is a. I don't know if that's a man's name or a woman's name. But Strix, our loyal listener, must have followed us because she knew, or they, he knew, they knew <laughs> that we were on the air today, Wednesday, even though we weren't on the air Tuesday, as everybody um, suspected or expected, uh, and and. and Maybe TJ's following us. I don't know. Maybe you picked it up on Facebook. I don't know. But the people that are following us get a notification when we go on the air. That's basically where I'm going with that. You get a notification. Uh, you can also get in the chat room. There's also, you know, there's always cool stuff going on in the chat room. There's a whole other show going on in the chat room um, here at Wittershins. And that's basically all I have to say about that. So, um, 
back to our special guest. You, are you still there? I, I heard, mm-hmm. heard you in the background the whole time, so I figured you were still there. Um, so, okay, so we got Conjure, we got Hoodoo, um, we got Voodoo, and I believe you're a Polero as well. I am. Yep. Well, I should have said Solomon Lekin then. Malekun Solomon, yes, indeed. All right. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, I think the last uh, the last interaction we had was for the Gay Polero show, and, and you, it, it you, was you, you it was you that couldn't is correct. You could make it on for our schedule, but you know we had the show anyway, so I don't think we had any. Do we have guests? You know, we had a couple guests called in. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, the mm-hmm. Yeah, the Engayo. Gay oh, you had an Engayo show. called, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But so, um, yeah, so we had the show, um, and we had I I we had that show when we were on Candela's Corner, and that was my fault. <laughs> Somebody yeah. sabotaged that show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, okay, the sabotage wasn't my fault, but that was, yeah, that show got sabotaged. It never actually aired live uh, that anybody could hear it. They could only listen uh, over the phone. If you called in mm-hmm. Blog Talk Radio, you could listen over the phone, then people got to listen right. to the, the rebroadcast. But, you know, there was, uh, it was a controversial subject. I think it was more controversial um, when we mm-hmm. uh, brought it up on Candelo's show, but I, I still thought it was a good show. And uh, and then later, you know, we had our Tata uh, going back and forth in text messages, you know, replying to all the stuff on the show. It's like, dude, you know, mm-hmm. the show happened a week ago. You should have called in. <laughs> <laughs> can't answer all right. those questions. Right, yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so then, since since you know we were trying to get you on the show, that that, that would that would would uh, stand to reason that, that perhaps you're a gay Polero. That would be correct. I am. Mm-hmm. And you have not had a, your heart has not exploded. It has not. No, indeed. Wow. It, it, it has not. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I am a Padre in Ganga in uh, Mayombe, Corta Lima. That is the Rama that I'm in, just in case anybody is wondering. <laughs> huh. Mm-hmm. God, I, I'm sure that somebody told us, you know, that that's what happens. Oh, yeah. That was our first Minanto. It wasn't really a Minanto. We left there. Uh, but then our second Minanto, yeah, we didn't get that shit. Um, and I, I think, you know, you, you, you touched on one thing. You talked about sacrifice. We did, was it sacrifice in more dirty words? That was like a couple weeks ago. That, that's when Christian called him. Um, mm-hmm. And I, 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 I said it at the time. I said, you know, I, 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 I'm a Tata. I don't. Mm-hmm. Put, I don't put that on my Facebook page. I don't throw that out there. It's not my title. And, you know, I've been a high priest in witchcraft forever. That's not my title on my Facebook page either. I don't need to, to do that. And, and one right. of the reasons I definitely don't do that in Palo is because of Poleros. Right. The, the way right. they are. The way they are. And I was like, I don't need to be in some fucking pissing match or some peacock match with some fucking internet Polero. We could fight about the size of your package. We could fight about the size of our package or the the, 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 the depth of our plumage. Um, <laughs> so I just right. I don't throw that out there because of the way so many Poleros um, are. Right. But um, that is. Mm-hmm. But, you know, as I, I, I think, you know, I, I alluded to when we were texting back and forth on Facebook. It's like, um, you know, mm-hmm. um, my, my Tata's gay. Her, her Tata's gay. Uh, Marta over here. Um, uh-huh. uh, and as such, there were certain oaths that never came up when, when, when we were being scratched. And when we got scratched the next time, it's like I, I never... I, I never took an oath to look down on gay people or think they were a pariah. Or, well, the, the, right. the, the Tata and Yaya. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, the more elaborate scratch, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I will say that much. But, <laughs> uh, but, you know, that never came up. That was never. And, you know. Imagine. And, and one of the other things that, you know, when when, when, when you we, we were talking in, in – uh, in text, you, you were talking about you know, how your, your books are, your books are on hoodoo and conjure um, because of the secrets. You can't trade the secrets. Um, that is correct. That, those oaths never seem to come up either. <laughs> I, was never, I, I was never oathed not to write anything down, though I know that it's generally considered 
uh, Taboo and Apollo, um, those were not some of the oaths that I subscribed to. I didn't subscribe to, you know, uh, gay men being, you know, bad and not allowed to be in Apollo. I did not subscribe right. to uh, not writing things down. And here's my whole problem with this entire thing. Apollo, one of the few traditions I know, and God, God and Gongas bless him for trying to stay pure. There's nothing pure. There's nothing ever going to be pure, and there is no pure oral tradition of any occultism anywhere. It's never worked for anybody anywhere, anywhere. I, I, hats off to Apollo for trying to do that, but it doesn't work. Because here, I went through an initiation. I did not have the same oaths as somebody in another tradition. Um, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe doesn't have a gay player. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of those things are you know stringent uh, taboos, mm -hmm. and everybody talks about them. It's like uh, those mm -hmm. words did not come up. Nobody told me not to write anything, um, though I know that you're not really supposed to do that. Um, I did end up with a. Uh, my Lucero has nine eyes. And mm -hmm. I looked, and I looked at the other Luceros in the rooms. Nobody's looked like that. I was like, well, why does my Lucero have nine eyes? And he says, well, because of the, your public nature, all eyes will be upon you. Mm -hmm. So, so I figured, all right, I'm not going to run right out and write a book on Paulo. Uh, but I just, you know, those were not my oaths. But uh, then, I, you know, I have a, a friend on Facebook, uh, Tatai Oriate. I love his book. It's, it's one of the there, – there are only two other books uh, or, or two books that anybody accepted on Apollo for anybody to read. It was uh, The Garden of Blood and Bone and uh, the Apollo Mayambe. Um, what was it? She's rolling her eyes at me, so I got it wrong. Society of, Society, the, dead. Society of the Dead. Okay, Society of the Dead and Garden of Blood and Bone. Um, and those are the only books that anybody accepts um, maybe because the, the way they're written – um, but but then I, you know, there's those couple of people. Tata Oriate's book. I love that book. I found that book fascinating. Uh, mm -hmm. I found it really fascinating that the herbs used in his Apollo were the same correspondence as I would use uh, for all of those herbs in, uh, you know, Western uh, witchcraft. I, I found that mm -hmm. fascinating. But but the, like the spell work, that that's what, what I find um, uh, a lot of Apollos lacking. Um, uh, uh, they don't have a magic. They, they're using other magics. Um, but, but, but Tato Oriate, he had, you know, several spells that were designed for Apollo. I liked that. I thought there was good information in the book. I think he had another one mm -hmm. out. But no, he's mm -hmm, not dead. Mm -hmm. Nobody killed him. No. Nope. Uh, his heart didn't explode. Um no, he lives in Florida. <laughs> and, and he lives in Florida. <laughs> right. Um, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, so uh, basically it's like I, that's what happens with oral traditions. And everybody's going to, you know, kick and scream and bitch and whine about it. Oral traditions are like the, the, the game of telephone. Everybody whispers something in somebody's ear. And by the time it gets back to you, it's an entirely different story. Um, it kind of took on life of its own, um, not necessarily a bad thing, but right. I, I, I see, I see people, people in Palo holding on to a horse that left the gate a long time ago. Man, there's too many. A very long time ago. Too mm -hmm. many variations. Uh, there's mm -hmm. too, many, too many, too much personal input. Um, there is no pure strain um, of anything. <sighs> Left no, no. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this has been my argument from day one. <coughs> at the end of the day, let me ask you a question. In the Palo, who is it that do we serve the, the Impungo? Or do we serve ourselves? Are we in relationship with the spirits, the impungo of the Apollo, or are we in relationship with ourselves? And the answer to that question, of course, everybody will say, well, we're in relationship to the spirit. We're in relationship to the impungo, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You're in relationship to them. So let me ask you this. 
if it is the Mpungo who decide who gets scratched or not, who are you to say otherwise? The end. There is no argument. There is no this, that, or the other. Or we want to talk about the fucking goddamn treaties of fucking Cuba bullshit. Yes. Nope. There is none of that. Okay? Because guess what? Take your bitch ass right back to the Congo. Take Go right back to the Bantus and ask them the same question. I promise you, you won't have the same answer. Well, the spirit is the one who decides exactly. That's what they're going to tell you. Yeah. So who is it, who who is it that that makes a decision on that? If you truly are a servant of the spirit, then you will listen to what the spirit has to say. And this other this other, you know, bullshit that really comes from these treaties that happened, you know, years ago, blah blah blah, you know, dumb shit has nothing to do with these spirits that we serve and the spirits make it clear. Because if they didn't make it clear, then why is it that we can go in and sit down and we can have a consulta and the impungo says, yes, scratch this person. Oh, but I'm gay. Well, we didn't know that before. You don't have to know it. The spirit all fucking knew it. They already knew it. So guess yeah. what? Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. You either a servant of the spirit or you're not. And let me tell you, Michael, let me tell you, I have been in so much controversy over this. <laughs> it's been a whole lot. But I don't really care. I don't care. I really don't. Because until you can until you can effectively answer me that one question, then I got nothing to say to you. Well, think, because you can think... what if shit all day long. You can what if shit all day long. But what if this but ain't what if nothing? Because I could come to you and I could not say one fucking word about, like, you know, me being gay, this, that, or the other, blah, 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 blah. And you could do your goddamn consulta. And then whenever the impungo says, yes, you're going to scratch him. And then, I, and then afterward, I'd be like, oh, but guess what? I'm gay. Why does that change anything? It doesn't. You know why? Because the spirit already fucking knows. And it's not about whether you're gay, straight, what. It does not matter about that. What matters about that is are you going to serve those spirits? That is what matters. Because if you don't, then you don't. If you do, then guess what? The trivial, you know, bullshit ass human, like menial things that we get involved with have nothing to do with the spirit, but have everything just to do with the personality and that specific culture of man. That's it. Yeah, people and if bring anybody their, gets, people you know, bring their bigotry. Right. Yes, of course they do. They're gonna bring it in. Oh well, you know, I didn't know. Well you you didn't have to know, your spirit knew. And your spirit still said yes. So what now, bitch? What now? <laughs> well, you know, a big when, old bunch of nothing. When, when I when I was a kid and I got involved in witchcraft, I was first introduced um, with the, this concept of, of, of the Godhead, the God that is the God, Goddess, everything that exists, and it was a perfected being. And we were mm -hmm. a lower version of that perfected being. And our job was to eventually reach the state of that perfected being. And if you could, mm -hmm. if you could find an imperfection with that perfected being, then it, it was imperfect. Um, a human being shouldn't mm -hmm. be able to find an imperfection in an actual God. It should be better right. than us, bigger than us. Correct. And so any deity or spirit or anything that's ever come down the pike and, and told me that it was, you know, larger than me and, and engaged in things like, you know, bigotry, jealousy, you know, right. all the way Correct. back to Jehovah in the Bible. You know, he was a jealous God. It's like, well, jealousy, man, that's beneath me. I can't look up to that. I can't worship that. You know, bigotry? No, it's a, we we know just you know well, but you know prior to Trump, we all knew that that wasn't okay. Um, we decided uh -huh. that as human beings, that certain behaviors were just unacceptable. How am I going to look up to a deity engaging in that behavior? And I've never had right. to because it's always humans. It's always humans throwing that in. So, like you said, the word treaties. The treaties were uh, is where the bigotry came in, 
But then the other things that that that, that I subscribe to were pacts. Pacts are mm-hmm. with spirits. Treaties are with people. And so, so of course, right. I expect the treaties to get fucked up. <laughs> but the the pacts were of just course. fine. None of that shit came up. Of course, but then think about it. Then because back in the day, and guess what? Back in the day, ask anybody, and they will tell you the same fucking thing. Back in the day, how many women were allowed to be in polo and allowed you and and allowed to to be scratched? How many women were allowed? Because guess what? Originally, polo was for men, just men. Yeah. Women had their own thing. They had their own thing. You see. And then guess what? That changed. And so guess what? That changed. And and why is it that 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 that, that, that you know that, that there seems to be, you know, this big bullshit ass thing, you know, to where oh, if you're gay, you can't be in power. Sit the fuck down. I will challenge anybody, and I say this, and I hope every motherfucking person hears it. I say this. I will challenge anybody. You come at me with everything that you have, and I will come at you with my siete rayo, my insasi. I will come at you with that, and let's see who stands in the end. Because many have fucking tried, but ain't not one motherfucker have succeeded. Okay? Name one. <laughs> hey, hey, do you have a podcast? I do not. I probably should, but I don't. <laughs> YouTube channel, something. I, you, you should have something, because I want to subscribe. I had to listen to I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah that's well, kind of that's in the works. I gotta get that, but yeah, but but it's the truth, you know. Yeah. It it really is. Like I don't want to hear none of this cockamamie bullshit about this, that, yeah. No, uh, uh-uh. you show me. You sh- if you can show me how I am not serving the spirit correctly because I'm fucking gay, I will sit down and I will put duct tape over my own fucking lips and you ain't got to say shit. Show me that and that's exactly what I'll do. But until then, guess what? My mouth's going to be moving 100 miles a damn hour. How about that? <laughs> well, I, I just remember, uh, you know, our Tata t- tells the story. You know, he, he went to Cuba and he went to a very reputable uh, Monanso. And got his initiation there. And, you know, before, you know, as everything was about to happen, you know, in KCR, he said everything was okay. He says, says to the Tata, he says, well, well hold on. Wait, I, I need you to know, you know, I'm gay. And the guy just, like, looked at him for the longest time and then finally goes, and? <laughs> and goes, exactly. Well, well we're, we're, we're told it's, you know, it's a, it's a taboo and, um, you know, the gay men can't be scratched. And he goes, and he just said, oh, shit. Where, where? And he goes, well, you know, back in America, we hear that. And he goes, so um, you have a penis? And he goes, yes. And he said, you have balls? And he goes, yes. And they work? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> then you're a man. Right. And that's all that mattered to this guy. It's like he it was the exactly. most alien thing that this Tata in Cuba had heard. He's like, So you're gay, so what? 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 Who like, gives a shit? Back in Cuba, exactly. So. Right. And you're right. And and that's and that's like that's exactly like what I've been saying. Like you know what? Guess what? You go through a consulta. And in that consulta, yeah. you are sitting directly with that impungo. You are sitting directly with that spirit. And that spirit says right then and there, yes, you can or no, you cannot. Yeah. And guess what? If that spirit says, yes, you can, who am I to say no? Who am I to say that? I can't. Because you know why? At the end of the fucking day, I'm a servant of that spirit. And if that is what he wants, then that is what he gets. The end. So anybody who's like, oh, this, that, the other, and blah, 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 and all that stupid, like, monkey shit bull crap, uh uh-uh, don't have no time for all that. Because guess what? If you are a servant of the Spirit, then you will do what it is that the Spirit commands. Because at the end of the day, it is you that is the vessel of the Spirit, not the other way around. Whew. Preach it. I'm just listening to you talk right now. (laughs) I'm just saying. I'm just saying because guess what? Nobody has time for all that. Mm-hmm. So Nobody you know, like people, that. people have all this. They have all these ideas about this, that, and the other, and about like how they're going to do this, and they're going to do that, or they're not going to do this, and this is the thing that you're supposed to do, and blah 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 blah. Fine. 
Absolutely. You've got the ground rules set in place. But guess what? When the spirit comes in and says, that one is mine. Who are you to challenge otherwise? Because it is you that is a servant to that spirit, not the other way around. It is you who serves that spirit, not the other way around. So now you want to challenge it because of some machismo, stupid bullshit that you heard from somebody else? Oh, no, uh-uh. Sorry. Mm -mm. That's what I have always said. It's like, uh, and Kisi said it was okay for you to come, right? But then that's all there is. The end. That's it. Exactly. The end. That's it. That's all that matters. They say yes or they say no. The end. Anytime, anytime anyone comes to me because they want to consult, I said, okay, give me two days and I'm going to get back with you. And I will go to my insasi and I will sit with him and I will say, hey, Papa, I got such and such who wants to come have a consultant with you. Is it okay? And I will do the divination my goddamn self. And he either says yes or he says no. If he says yes, come on. If he says no, I'm sorry I can't help you. Go somewhere else. The end. That's what it is. It's so quite let, simple. Let me, uh, I, I, I'm seeing questions in the uh, chat room I should answer. Strix, one of our loyal listeners, um, Asks uh, the meaning of Tata and Yaya. Um, basically, Tata's priest, Yaya's priestess, uh, for lack of better words, in uh, It's like Palo. a father and a mother. Yeah, father and mother in, in, in Palo. Uh, and then yes. she asks, what is Lucero? Uh, complicated. <laughs> Lucero, Lu, Lu, yeah, Lu, Lucero is uh, the, the, the first in Pungo. Um, you, you have to, uh, I, I don't know what what other things you study Strix, but it, it's kind of like a Eligua in, uh, in, in other ATRs. It's like uh, the gateway. Uh, you have to have Lucero to, 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 to talk to everybody else and to open the roads to all the other Mpungos, um, just like Eligua um, does that same thing in other traditions. There's a, a, a mediator yes. in a way. A mediator it, it, with, it, it, uh, yeah. you, you may call them gods, other people are going to call them, you know, spirits and pungos. Um, it's different ways that people view those things, but uh, Lucero is like the main guy. You got to you gotta talk to him or first. Or the crossroads, have him exactly. Talk to everybody else. So, yeah, yes. correct me if I'm wrong. And it's like, like in, in, in my Rama, in, in my Rama, in, in my own Corte Lima, Lucero Mundo, Luc himself, Lucero himself, is the guardian of the crossroads of the entire cosmos. Okay, so we kind of have two. We have in 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 my Rama, we have two. We have Lucero Mundo, who is kind of he's like the, the guardian of the the crossroads of the entire cosmos, and we also have what's called Incuyo. Incuyo is the guardian of the crossroads of the material plane. Kind of like Lucero, but not on the same scale. But it is, but it is them who you go to. You, you know, you go to Lucero Mundo, or you go to Incuyo to open the doors for whatever it is that 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 needs to be done. You see, you know, and that's where you know, you know, sometimes you got to go get a chicken, baby. You need to get a go get a black rooster, and you know, go give it to him and say, hey. Guess what? I need such and such to be open. Yes, I said that chicken. Yes, I did. Sure did. <laughs> and sometimes you got to like you you got to spill some blood if you're going to get what done need to be done. Hey, let's go to a That's musical break. That's just the break. way that it is. <laughs> All right. I want you back after this musical break. Hold on. Well, you tried it just for once, found it all right for kicks. But now you find out that it's a habit that sticks and you're an orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. Sneaking in the back door with dirty magazines. So your mother wants to know what all the stains on the jeans. And you're an orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. But you're still keeping me there and you need to pop And you're an orgasm addict You're an orgasm addict You're a kicker sonova, you're a no chose epita Live all the fucking yourself to death Orgasm addict You're an orgasm addict Uh-huh Stay. 
blood no, ceremony. Yes, indeed. Know, shins. One of the one of those songs that we were not able to play when we're on the mobile broadcast. So, um, <laughs> on the line with me, uh, Udo San Moise. Did I say it right? No, I still didn't get it right. Okay, Moise. 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 <laughs> By the end of the show, man, I'm gonna have it, and then when I see you in person. I'll never forget it. That's right. When y'all bring y'all ass down to New Orleans, come on. <laughs> well, apparently, <laughs> next uh, next text fest, I, I got to figure out what uh-huh. to do. But I'm sure it'll, it'll it'll fucking rock the goddamn world. Um, but yeah, yeah. I've, I've been asked to do the next text <laughs> fest, so that's be our trip to New Orleans. Um, first time seeing it, so I'm uh, gonna. Uh, Definitely hook up. And I just heard you. Uh, I don't. The listeners couldn't hear you, but I hear you when you're talking in the background uh, uh, when the mic's off um, on Skype. And uh, you're going to be at the Mile High Conjure Gala. I just yeah. overheard. I am. I will be teaching no, yeah. September in Denver. Oh, yes, yeah. I will. Be. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll be up there in Denver, cutting the hell up. Yep. That's what's going to go down. Oh, right. Yep. <laughs> well, hoping to have one of those in Hollywood one of these days. We'll see what we can pull off. Uh, oh yes, indeed, absolutely. Maybe we'll. I'm there. You let me know. Know. I'm there. <laughs> I can. I can more see myself going to New Orleans than Denver right now. Even though Denver is closer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So yes, what are you, you going to be teaching there then? You already going to be uh, yes uh, over at the at the at the Mile High Conjure Gala in Denver, which is at September 29th and 30th. I'm going to be uh, I'll be teaching uh, I'll be teaching a class about the ancestors and about how to like facilitate strong relationships with you know with those that have come before you. Because as we know, it is the ancestors that are the foundation on everything else that we stand on. You either have your ancestors or you don't. If you don't have them, I feel sorry for you. You know, if you do have them, let's go. You know, we can, you know, the way that that's the way that it is. Because guess what? It is it is the ancestors that open up not only opportunities, but doorways into everything else that you're going to. And it doesn't matter what path you follow. It doesn't matter any of that shit. That doesn't matter. What matters is, is that you have that active relationship with your folks because it is them that give you the wisdom that you need to not only move forward, but it is them that also give you the wisdom that you need to be able to know what your next step is going to be, you see. And so... So we're going to be going all out on that. So I'm going to be doing a class on the ancestors and then I'll be doing readings and all that other kind of shit over there. Uh, And what's the date on that? uh, September 29th and the 30th in Denver. Mm -hmm. And the same person that's asking that in the chat room is asking about HexFest, which is much sooner. Uh, When's HexFest? If I remember correctly, if I recall correctly, that's August 10th, 11th, and 12th. Yep, I believe that's what it is. And that's in New Orleans. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tell, tell her more That's about that. Right we here got somebody the- asking about what's Hexfest. She's never heard of Hexfest in the chat room here. Hexfest is basically it is a weekend. It's an entire weekend that is devoted to to uh, how you say like uh, to, to to classes and to magic that that maybe you either haven't thought about or understood before um it's about essentially increasing somebody's like their 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 spiritual side to where like whatever it is work that they're doing because there's a lot there's a whole bunch of different types of people that come to hex fest you see and so you know it's about taking somebody and like helping to facilitate them moving to the next level of their own practice it's about helping to you know bring them to a new place of understanding so they can so they whenever they go back home they got something that they didn't have before it's about creating change in people that, you know, they're going to come one way, but they're going to leave. And if you come to my class, I promise you, that's what's going to happen. You're going to come one way, but you're going to leave another. I, I guarantee you that. 
you see. <laughs> so there oh. you go, Strix, in the chat room. You, you, you going to go? I think you should go. Yeah. They need to go. go. Exactly. Plug Come on. You got to go. And let me, I'm going to show you. Exactly. I'm going to I'll show you what you've been missing. How about that? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what you've been missing. And so, you know, when it comes down to it, like, you know, the things that, that we do, like I said, I've been in this for 35 years. I've been in this a long ass time, a long time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> And so, you know, and, and as you know, as you know, Michael, you know, like there are people who come into this and they have like these ideas of this, that and the other. But those ideas that they have, which are good and maybe pure in nature, are still missing elements to that. What we do is we provide the elements that are missing, you see. That's what we do. They say, oh. You're doing this, 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 and this? Okay, well, let me show you how to do it. How to do it, you know, <clears throat> in a way that you maybe not know. And then you do it, and then all these changes be coming along, yeah. And those changes that come along, you know what happens? They change you. And you know why they change you? Because your spirits are trying to change you. And as your spirits is trying to change you, what ends up happening is that, you know, you begin to undergo transformation. And that transformation that happens with you is something that you end up carrying to somebody else. If, if you come to one of my classes and you are not transformed, I'll give you your money back. Here you go. Here you go. I promise you that. I'll tell you that right in the hell now. Because I don't do like I don't do this because I'm looking for anything. I don't give a shit. Because guess what? I make a lot of money by myself. Don't care. I don't care about that. But what I do care about is giving somebody the ability to grow and allowing them to set their seed on fertile soil. That's what I care about. I don't care about anything else. Other than that. Because if I cannot do that, then I have not done my job. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> Just saying. I hear you. Those noble goals right there. Um, I believe in being honorable. Because let me tell honorable. you. Oh, Lord, here we go. Here we go. In here. Yes, again. Michael, I apologize in advance, but I'm about to get on soapbox again. <laughs> Just so you know. It, it, that's what this is about. It's about being honorable. You see? And because there are so many in this, and I use this fucking term very loosely. I do. I use it loosely because, you, you know, I look at it and I'm like, what the hell is even this? You know, in this, you know, quote, community. Because that's another big problem that we have is I don't see this as a community. It's not. It's always one person going against this person and going against this person and this, that, and the other, and all this other blah, 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 blah. I don't have time for that. Yep. If that's all I'm focused on, if that, if that is all I'm focused on, then I am remiss in doing my own job, my own calling. And if I can't not, if I cannot, if I cannot establish and and perform the goals to which I was called to, then what the hell am I doing here? But that's the thing. You see, that's what you have a lot of. You have a lot because there's a lot of like, you know, this, that and the other backbiting and blah, 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 blah. Personally, I don't give two rat shits about what anybody does. I don't care. You know why I don't? Because at the end of the day, every man and every woman have to work out their own salvation. The end. That's what they have to do. But what? Merci on Pilmo Chevy. Somebody brought me a drink. I'm sorry. Uh, so. Well, this is New Orleans. You know, this is how we work. <laughs> are, are you at a restaurant this whole time? No, I okay. no. Actually, I am sitting at the twelve hundred block of Royal Street on a stump. That's what I'm doing. I'm on a stump. Somebody's out. bringing you drinks on a stump. I, I gotta well, visit this. Everybody town. here. I know everybody here. That's how this works. You know. They just saying. You drinks on a stump. Oh, my wife really wants to go now. I'm just saying, like yeah. that's how this works here. You know. Uh. Yeah, and that's what we do. But but the thing is, is that like, you know, going back to that is that like, if I cannot help somebody and I cannot give them not only revelation, but the ability to manifest 
change in their lives, then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a priest. Because as a priest, that is my fucking job. And that's what it is. Yes. And people don't understand how seriously I take that. And I do take it. And I take that extremely seriously. Okay. It is not something that I don't waver in. I don't like, uh-uh. I'm not doing, no. If this is what needs to happen, guess the hell what? This is what's about to go down. And so, you know, when you have when you have you have a lot of people here that like to talk a big game and they have a lot of eloquent words that come out of their face. But at the end of the day, they don't know shit about nothing. And all they're doing is pulling something out they ass to tell somebody, oh, well, you should probably do this. Because Lord, don't even get me started. I can start going down in names, you know, of dumb shit. You know that we that, that that we don't do, and that what ends up happening is that people end up getting hurt. And I will never, never allow something like that to happen, because I would be remiss in my duties as a priest if I did. And I won't do that. No, indeed. Yeah. Hey, we just got a uh, salam aleikum from uh, Candelo in the chat room. Oh my God! Yes, indeed. That's my dog right now. That's my dog. <laughs> My ride is on. We've got mm-hmm. a whole different crowd in there on a Wednesday. We're normally on on Tuesday. And, you know, usually a handful of live listeners. We usually get mo- most of our listeners in the archives. But uh, it's kind of jumping on Wednesday. I'm not saying you I'm going to commit to be- doing Wednesdays, but uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, shit, maybe you should do Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm just oh. saying. <laughs> big enough package. <laughs> Marta says I right? have a big enough package. So maybe. <laughs> And then that happened right there. You know what, Lord? I'm not going to kick that door open. I'm not Jesus. I'm not going to do that. But guess what? Yeah, well, I'm just saying, you know, maybe you should. Maybe you should consider it. But but the thing is, is that, like, Michael, like, the stuff that you talk about and the stuff that you're wanting to talk about, like, these are really, really important. Like, they are important issues. Because I'm sorry. I really am. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but... As far as like, you know, and I'm using like air quotes, my fingers is all up in the air right now doing this. <laughs> but when it comes to like, you know, pagan community or occult community, but there is no such thing. It doesn't exist because the no. only thing that you have, the only thing that you have is that you have motherfuckers that are backbiting each other so horribly. Mm-hmm. That's all that they know. And they're destroying people in the process. Yes. Because <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell. Let, I'll tell you this. Like I could, if I wanted to. Jesus knows, I could, if I wanted to. I could come out and I could say a whole bunch of shit, a whole bunch of shit. That is true. I could say a whole bunch of shit about you know about certain folks and stuff like that, you know. But what is that going to to solve? What is that going to do? Nothing but create an uh, how you say extra division. It's not going to do all that. And I don't need to do You know why I don't need to do that, Michael? Because I'm fucking me. That's why. I don't need to do none of that. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, people will still come to me whether, you know, the, 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 the sun is shining or the rain is pouring. It does not matter. So... All I'm going to focus on is what needs to happen to facilitate change in somebody's life. And that's why, like, you know, and maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I do not, like, personally subscribe or believe in, you know, the, 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 how you say, uh, the mirage of the, quote, pagan or occult community. I don't. Because all you have is a whole bunch of bullshit going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why? Why do I like why why do I need to put such and such down, even though I could? Why do I need to do that when I can just shine even more? Because at the end of the day, guess what? You know who it is that writes the narrative for all this? Me and you. That's who writes the narrative. And so if I want people to understand something in a different way, then I'm going to speak in a different way. And I'm going to understand 
things in a different way than they do. And I'm going to convey those messages in a different way. I don't have to put nobody down. You know why? Because people can just look at me and they can say, you know what? There's something right there. That's what's going on. And guess what? Every single time, that's exactly what goes on. I mean, I could tell you about the fakes and phonies and bullshit artists and stuff like that that I've experienced firsthand. You know, shit, you know? Well, let let, I, let, let, let me I, ask you a personal question here. Hey, I, I, just, I, just, I just wonder. You ever, you ever been I'm a Baptist? Over. Huh? You ever been a Baptist? Hell no, I ain't no damn Baptist. <laughs> I just, I could just picture you ranting up and down the stage in a church when I listen to you speak. You just, you've got, you've got such a nice flow to your rants. Sorry to, to disrupt your rant, but I just had to ask that question. <laughs> you are absolutely. I'll tell you this. Just ask Christian about how I am, especially in my classes. About just, just ask, ask, ask him. There's a reason why he loves to keep me around. There's a reason why. Because guess what? I can walk into a room and I can I can change the tone of a room in ten seconds flat. That's why. Can. I bet you can. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> and I'll tell you that now, and it's the truth. This is the first time I've ever heard your voice. Really? You know, I know. I know. Well, I'd like. Uh, yeah. Well, you're right. And but Charles you know, Porterfield but, says it's a Southern thing. Oh yeah. So they all do that, really? I don't know. Yeah. I've seen some Dude. Southern Trump supporters that are not uh, that silver-tongued, let me say. <laughs> shit on me. Uh-uh. No, indeed. <laughs> and I love Porterfield. Yes, indeed. Well, what's I, to love with Porterfield? Charles Christy need to bring their ass back to New Orleans. I'm just saying. You heard me, Charles? I'm just saying. Uh, but, yeah, you know, so... <laughs> But, like, with this, you know, with this stuff, like I said, like, our, the way, at least the way that I see it, is that, you know, my job is to facilitate a magical change in somebody that needs a miracle, somebody that needs something to happen. And, you know, miracles do run in my family, just so, because, you know, I am, I am a relative of Moses. So, they do run in my family. But, you know, at the same point in time, like that, that, that is something that, that we strive to do. And if I can touch somebody and I can make somebody different, then I'm going, I don't care what is going on. I will, I will make sure that I do that one thing. That's what I'm going to do. Because at the end of the day, why else are we here? If you are a priest and I am a priest, then what are we supposed to be doing? Changing the lives of people that are around. We're supposed to be. We are the miracle makers. We are the ones who create the change. We are the ones who speak into somebody's life that creates a magical change, that they're not the same that they were whenever they walked into the damn room. That's what we do. And if you can't do that, then I tell you that there's a problem. If you can't make a change in the life of somebody, there is an issue. Because as a priest, that is our job. Man, you're, you're either going to get a podcast or we're going to have to have you on the air a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you need to preach this on, on, on the airwaves like that. Man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I have nothing to add. I just agree. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like, you know, like, 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 like you guys, you know, over in, you know, in California, I'm sure that you have people that come to you that are saying, hey, I've got such and such going on and I don't know how to fix it. I, I don't know how to change it. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, that's what we deal with on a daily basis. I can tell you this every morning. Every fucking morning that I wake up, when I wake up, I have no less than 15, 10 to 15 fucking messages on Facebook and like probably like between like six and eight different texts every single day of something, of someone that needs something to happen. 
every day. Like I that, that that's <laughs> that's not yes. like a weekend. Like that's my life. You know? Me too. <laughs> it's the same thing. I but that's what I'm saying is that I know that. That's that that's why I was that's why I was saying that. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I've and got so everything like integrated through my phone, so it's just like all right there, it's like text, mm-hmm. emails, Facebook pages. It's all coming through right, right there on my phone with morning. Coffee. Exactly, exactly. And then, and then, like you, you, like you, you open up your phone, and there's all this stuff. You know, this one has this thing. This one has this thing. This one has this thing. This one wants to book this. This one wants to do that. This one and this one, like that. But, but that is. You know, and you know, and you know, whatever anybody else fucking says, I don't care. But that is a part of our job. Yeah. If you cannot facilitate a magical change in somebody's life, then you have an absolutely no goddamn business being a priest. And you can fucking quote me on that. You are quoted, quote sir. That. Because that's what that's what we do. That's why we are called to the positions that we are called to. And if you cannot fulfill that obligation, then you have no business of being where you are. So if you're one of those people who likes to like talk shit and do Brandy. I'm sorry, one of my godkids just arrived. <coughs> <laughs> if you who do San Moise. Yeah. You hey, have my... been one of the most entertaining guests we've had. Um, we we gotta we gotta end the show in like a couple minutes here. Uh, I wanted oh. to plug your book, Working with Conjure or Working Conjure, Working Conjure a guide to Hoodoo. That's correct. Uh-huh. It's on Barnes and Noble. I'm seeing it on Google Play, and it's coming and out Amazon. on Wiser, right? Next. Yes, Wiser is the one that's publishing it. If you want to pre-order it, you can pre-order it on Amazon.com. Just just type in Working Conjure, and it will come right up. You'll see. You'll see the uh, 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 the cover of the book, which is a crossroads with a serpent crossing yeah. over the, over the crossroads. Like yeah. You'll see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that cover. I was looking at that. And then, uh, so Hexfest is coming up, and then uh, yes. the Mile High Conjure. And then the Mile High the Mile High oh, Conjure boy. Gala in September. That's that's coming up. So if you in in the Denver area. Or you want to go to the Denver? Come on, and I promise you, you won't leave the way you came. <laughs> well, now that your schedule has changed, hopefully we'll be able to get you on the air more often. Uh, you've been been a great guest. You just let me know. You just let me know, I and know if I, I will if do I'm that. Town, yeah, if I'm in town, baby, guess what? I'm on. You, if I'm in town, I'm on. Let me know. You got to be in town. You could do it from your smartphone. And normally, I'm doing the uh, last probably five <laughs> shows I did entirely on my smartphone from the Spreaker uh, smartphone app. It was actually probably better audio oh, quality than I'm going to get off this laptop right now. But I, I just couldn't figure out how to integrate uh, Skype. But maybe next right, time right. I'll be able to, you know, have a guest on that. Uh, oh um, yeah, absolutely. I gotta download that. Yeah, that, that that'll be good for me. To, I got. It's see, handy. I be things. I be learning new things because I didn't even know that, that there was an app for it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, you know, and, and I, I, I think you need your own podcast. And uh, as I recall, I think Spreaker has uh, a uh, a trial uh, package small package uh, where you get like 15 unlimited 15 minute broadcast per day or something like that just to test oh, wow. it out see if you like it that kind of thing i think that's how we started it was a gateway drug and uh now we paid for the larger package but uh, i right. am not getting paid by spreaker i just really I, I like how spreakers worked out for me and and all my friends right tried out spreaker right um it's way better than blog talk and we can use it on our smartphones <laughs> and the chat room everything just works it's, right. it's been great mm-hmm. um but maybe you need to check that out and if you do check that out you know definitely tag me um on your first show so i can uh, i can post oh, that of around course. too of course all right absolutely absolutely well salam alaikum malaikum salam thank you for being on the show it was definitely a pleasure Oh, it's a pleasure. Pleasure is all mine. I appreciate it so very much. And we'll be seeing you uh, 
close to this time next year, I believe. Of it's course, a hex it fest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Have a good one. Bye.
Like every day, I watch it and listen and call them all suckers. They wanted me about a summer or whatever. Picture me buying the scam. I said never. You in tune to a hard truth soldier spitting. I stay committed, gives a fuck to die, I lose commission. It's all a part of fighting devil state mind control. And all about the battle for your body, mind, and soul. And now I'm hoping you don't close your mind so they shape you. Don't forget they made us slaves, gave us AIDS, and raped us. Another push season mean another war for profit. All in secret so the public never fit to stop it. The Illuminati, triple six, all connected. Stole the vote, stay control the race, and take elections. It's the Skull and Bones Freemason Kill Committee. See the dragon getting shot. City or in every city. What would you do if you knew all the things we knew? Would you stand up for truth? Or would you turn away to And then what if you saw all of the things that's wrong? Would you stand tall and strong? Or would you turn it off? Now ask yourself who's the one with the most to gain. Oh, 9 11 motherfuckers couldn't stand his name. Now even niggas waving flags like they lost their mind. Everybody got opinions, but don't know the time. Cause America's been took, it's plain to see. The oldest trick in the book is making enemy. A phony evil so the government can do its dirt. And take away your freedom, lock and load, beat and search. Ain't nothing changed, but more colored people locked in prison. These pigs still beat us, but it seems we forgetting. But I remember 4 September how these devils do it. Fuck Giuliani, ask Diallo how he doing. We in the streets, holler jail to the thief. Follow fuck, waving flags, bring these dragons to their knees. Oil, blood, money, make these killers ride cold. Suspicious suicide, people dying, never told. It's all a part of playing God, so you think we need them. While being ash cross, take away your rights to freedom. Bear witness to the sickness of these dictators. Hope you understand the time, brother, cause it's major. What would you do with what you do? Why my records always come the same Keep it real, ain't no fillers, motherfucker blingin' My eyes seen the gory of the coming of the beast So every story, every word, I'm saying fuck peace See, you could witness the Illuminati body count Don't be surprised, these is devils that I'm talking about You think a couple thousand lies mean shit to killers Nigga, I swear to God, we the ones, ain't no villains Or any other word, they think to demonize a country Ain't no terror threat unless approval rating slumping So I'ma say it for the record, we the ones that planned it Ain't no other country took a part or had they hand in just a way to keep you scary so you think you need them praising bush why that killer take away your freedom how many of us got discovered but ignore the symptoms niggas talking loud but ain't nobody saying shit and with the fourth amendment gone eyes are on the first that's why i'm spitting cyanide each and every verse i see the carlisle group and harris bank accounts i see him plead the fifth each and every session now and while white stag burns see the public buy it i see the profile and see the media's compliance war is good for business see the vicious make a savior hope you understand Stand the time, brother, cause it's major. What would you do with you? You all the things we knew. Would you stand up for true? Or would you turn away to And what if you saw all of the things that's wrong? Would you stand tall and strong? Or would you turn away? Silence. Good people who have put their lives on the line to fight for change. 